Blessed be your holy name, Jehovah Rapha. I thank you, Jehovah Nisi. I thank you, my dependable God, my reliable God, my unchangeable God, the one whose word has not failed. Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what lives of the winner's family, establishing your counsel, bringing your plans and purpose to pass. I give glory to you. I give glory to you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God will not allow you to see shame. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Any level of stagnation you have suffered will crash in this service. Make that amen louder. Amen. Any unseen power behind the setback you are going through, their hold over your life is caused in the name of Jesus. Say better, amen. amen. In this service, God is advancing your life, amen. God is advancing your family. Amen. Make that amen louder. Amen. What gives men speed is coming upon you today amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations and amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Praise God. Before we go on, I, I want to say this. Everybody, as you come to church, be security sensitive. What did I say? What I'm saying is to create a sense of alertness to everyone, no matter where you are sitting. Are you hearing me now? I remember sometime last year we were in, the, we were in church. And then a, a young man came to church with a gun. I spotted him from the altar. Even the person sitting beside him didn't know. I just called one person. I said, pick that man up. Thank God we had um, the DSS boss. We have one major general. I said, they should go and lock him up first. So that after the service, we asked him what he came to look for. So everybody be security sensitive. Are you hearing me now? Uh -huh. If somebody is beside you and is doing phone, pee, 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 pop, 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 just let me know. I will pick it. And that's why I will not allow anybody sitting here and you are carrying phone to do pee, 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 pop, pop. I will check you out. If you came as a morning three spirit, go to uh, Sani Abacha Youth Center and go and be doing your morning three spirit. You didn't come to church. If you, came, if you come to be blessed, you'll be blessed. But if you come to be to come as an agent of the devil, get ready. Vengeance plenty this year for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So please, let's be sensitive. Are you hearing me now? A lot is taking place. Uh, in Benin, in 2014, a girl came with an explosive. Came with explosive to church. Thank God for the protocol officer that saw her. Just picked her up. So please, let's be sensitive. Are you getting it now? It's very, very important. In Jesus' mighty name. Maximizing the 
blessedness of fasting and prayer. I will be focusing on to provoke the outbreak of revelation. Please set it back the way it was before. Eh? Fasting is a spiritual exercise. This is echo, please. Fasting is a spiritual exercise which every one of us cannot dodge. If you are born again, redeemed by the blood, you need fasting. It is ordained of God to advance our life, to advance the plan and purpose of God for you, for your family. So it is our spiritual obligation to see things appointed for you come to pass. Scripture says, He performed the things that is appointed unto me, and many such things are with Him. For those things to come to pass, there are spiritual obligations that you cannot exempt yourself from. You must give yourself to it. I remember a story I read sometime last year. A group of Satanists decided to hold a fast in South Africa. So somebody out of curiosity now asked him, ah, this one I'm not seeing you, why are you fasting? He said that they want to release power and spirits into Johannesburg, Pretoria, Soweto, and other places against the church. Yes, against the church, so that their marriages will be scattering, that their pastors will turn into fornicators. And guess what? They accomplished it. Immediately they finished the fasting. You know, in South Africa, there are men are more of drunkards. You are aware? <laughs> there are men that is women that walk. Now you go go walk, bring money, come. The, the level of um, divorce was on the rise. Why? Some group of people decided to fast to release spirits. So the pastors that we are not spiritually sensitive, who are out of touch with God, who are saying it's only in the world, they just come, pray, prophesy. They became victims. It began to hit them. Now in that book, the man of God said, if they can do this, which is not ordained of God, the one that is ordained of God can bring about unusual release of the blessings appointed. Funny enough, some people feel that they have fasted. I tell you, you have just started. What did I say? <laughs> Your journey only started. It has not ended. Amos chapter 5, let's read from verse 4. Amos chapter 5 from verse 4. For thou said the Lord unto the house of Israel, Seek ye me and ye shall do what? Which means if you don't seek me, you will aspire. Seek ye me and ye shall live. So you improve your living standard by seeking God. You improve your living condition by seeking God. 
you seek the way out of challenges. You seek the way out of distress. You seek the way forward by seeking God. Seek ye me and live. Which means if you don't seek him, you can't live. Neither will you live where? Now look at the next verse. Which concerns you. But seek not better. Nor enter Giga. And pass not to Beersheba. For Giga shall surely go into captivity. And better shall come to naught. Is it that Bethel is bad? Bethel was a place of an encounter. Gilgal was a place of an encounter. But he said, don't dwell there. Go forward. Oh, we were the ones that started Lafayette Church. Then we were praying. Now, we start the church now. What is one way they do now? They know Sabi pray now. <laughs> Hear me? You have expired. He says, seek not Gilga. Neither seek your better because you will soon go into captivity. It calls for reawakening of your spirit. If you are no longer hungry for God, you have expired. If there is no passion in you for prayer, you have expired. He says, seek ye me and do what? Leave. Your chance of living this year and living well is seeking God. And in fasting, spirit, soul, and body draw near unto God. You never come across any man who lived well without the empowerment of the spirit through fasting and prayer. You can't find a firebrand church or a firebrand believer without fasting. So fasting helps you to stay on course with the plan and purpose of God for your life. Just as we cannot outgrow eating, we cannot outgrow fasting. We need fasting and prayer to build spiritual energy that will enhance the fulfillment of what God has said concerning us. Like we are meant to understand, was it on Wednesday or Thursday? It's not a price you are paying for the church. It's a price you are paying for yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You are not paying the price for anybody. You are paying the price for yourself. Yes, the flesh will cry, but the spirit man will be empowered. That's why anytime you're in fasting, it's like um, there is a, um, an unusual alarm in your body. Wow, 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 wow. It's 10 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock, it's 11 o'clock. What is signaling you is, I bought the fast, I bought the fast, I bought the fast. Praise God. <laughs> It's time to put your body under. Paul said, I put my body under. Body, it's time to behave. I want to rise. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When you are spiritually low, you remain on the floor. But fasting helps us to remain spiritually high, spiritually afloat. Fasting puts our spirit man in charge, not in chains. Fasting helps us to conform to the image of the Son of God. It helps us to conform to the son, to the image of the Son of God. 
In fasting, our real spiritual identity emerges. You take back your real spiritual identity. And you know, if you lack an understanding of your identity, you will lose spiritual authority. There are things confronting the things God has appointed for us. Paul said, for a great door and effectual is open unto us, but there are many adversaries. They are everywhere. A great and effectual door is open unto me, but there are many adversaries. So engaging in fasting helps you to confront confrontations, dislodge oppositions, get the network that have been set against your life, the programming of wickedness arranged against the plan of God for your life, scattered. You can't do that by just sleeping and waking up. Jesus said when men slept, the enemy came to sow tars. They have been sowing it. So fasting and grace is us to drive the plan of God for our life. You know I mean? You have a colorful future. No matter what is happening around you now. No matter the lack you are going through, I say you have a colorful future. Yeah. Scripture say eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Now as he entered into the heart of man, what God has prepared for them that love him. So no matter the mockery around you now, it will expire this fasting. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. But you must believe God that this thing is there. This thing has been ordained. This thing must come to pass. So that when you are fasting, you fast with the whole of your heart. He said, you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with the whole of your heart. Not that you are praying and you are also considering your authority. If he fails, has God failed before? If this fasting doesn't work, this is what I will do. You, in fact, you have already killed your fast. It will not work. Because your eyes is not on God. Lord, I'm giving you already this January. Oh. <laughs> if you don't do anything, <laughs> I will show you my true color. <laughs> you are not in the fasting. No? Go and do that thing that you want to do. Go and do it. <laughs> he said, I am the Lord. I change it not. Our fasting is not enhancing God. It's enhancing you. Fasting is not a religious tradition. But much more a spiritual prescription. That's been ordained by God to enforce breakthrough, not breakdown. It's been ordained to enforce turnaround. So it's not a religious tradition. Why? You can choose to stay without food. You are dieting. You want to lose weight. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You want to lose weight. Fasting and prayer goes with word and prayer. So it's not um, your phone that you have not been checking time before. Anything? This clock needs to move fast. <laughs> this clock is not moving fast. Fast forward it. <laughs> fast forward it. <laughs> Praise God. Your fasting is not targeted in checking time. Your fasting should draw you close to prayer. To what study? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Lord, which is the way out for me this year? You say you will make a way where there is no way. Lord, show me the way. This, way, this year I count on you. When, you. when you open the door, no man can shut the door. Lord, you, there is a door you have designed for me this year. Lord, show me the way. Show me the way. You're already in tune. You're already in touch. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Now, one of the things we are ordained to benefit from fasting is revelation. Say with me, revelation. God has no problem revealing to us the deep things that will help us. He has no problem revealing to us that will enable us to make waves, generate exploits. God has no problem showing us the things that will enforce our change of level. But hear me? Any fasting you are doing that there is no light, say with me, light. light. Check it, something is wrong. You shall call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. So fasting enhances the release of light. And light is what determines height. What you see is what you can only take. If you can't see it, you can't take it. But what God has ordained for you to take, he must show it to you. If God is the one leading you, then he must be showing you where he's leading you to. So you must know who is leading you. So where you are going is as crucial as knowing who is leading. He said unto Moses, I mean Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, get thee out of thy father's house and of thy country to a place that I will show thee. He didn't call the name of the place that I'm taking you to Abuja or I'm taking you to Gwagwalada to a place that I will show thee. Hear me? His plans for you this year, they are authentic. But following him is a condition. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? <laughs> my sheep heareth my voice. The voice of a stranger, they will not what? Follow. So if God is the one leading you, he will be speaking to you. He will be showing you. He will be guiding you. So you never go far in life beyond the light, the inspiration, the revelation that he shows. Paul said, and I went up by revelation. If you must go up, Go higher. Go beyond where you are this year. God must reveal something to you. I say he will reveal something to you. And I went up by revelation. So no matter what God wants to reveal to you, you must be spiritually in tune. That's why fasting and prayer helps to offload. Paul said, lay aside every weight and the sin that doth so easily besets us. That's why all through last week we have been purging, flushing, clearing the access way, offloading every evil load that the devil has loaded in their hearts. Just to gain access to his voice. To gain access to revelation. To gain access to inspiration. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. He won't hear you. He won't speak to you. So we did that all through last week. Now, our sensitivity is enhancing. It's, it's coming up. So when God is talking now, you'll be hearing. You better say Amen. amen. He said, I know the Lord shall speak peace to his people. You can't miss the way this year. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. God wants to reveal something, but he needs your sensitivity. 
Your spirituality is what determines who speaks to you. No wonder scripture said to be carnally minded is dead. A carnal man only hear carnal people. To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. A carnal man, even though God is speaking, he says, for where? Pastor can be preaching now and say, for we I'm not hearing your own. <laughs> Praise God. You must be fine-tuned spiritually to hear his voice. To hear his voice. God has no special favorite. Those that make up their mind to seek God, they are the ones that will hear God. You don't need to be in any special university to learn how to hear God. Am I saying the truth? No, you don't need. An old woman can hear God. Oh, you don't know? They can even hear God more than you. You that plenty of things are troubling you. <laughs> are you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody has the capacity to hear God. You don't need to be a graduate to hear God. You don't need to be a graduate to know direction. Once your spirit man is in tune with God, he can show you. You can hear God in your bedroom. You can hear God in the toilet. You can hear God lying down. So your sensitivity matters when it comes to hearing the voice of God. That's why carnality is the enemy of spiritual progress. Carnality is an enemy of open doors. Carnality is an enemy of breakthrough. When the devil wants to hinder you from hearing the thing that will help you, he will tell you, take this fasting easy. Take this fasting easy. No wound yourself. And Papa said, if you take it too easy, you will be eased out of life. Take this fasting thing easy. Is there any easy way to life? No, show me one so that I can register. <laughs> Have you seen any easy way? That is why the demands of fasting, they have an effect on our physical body, on our mind, and also on our spirit. It's placing a demand. Something must drop so that something can enter. Something must drop so that something can enter. How much more living in, a, in an environment that is beclouded with stiff opposition? Too many contentions. Hear me? Our contentions are no longer outside. Our contentions are inside the church with us. That's why you must be spiritually sensitive. Spiritually sensitive so that God can he speak to you. We are to go, who to follow, who not to associate with. You think everybody that is greeting you, bless you, bless you, came for bless you. You can't confuse me. Oh. Either I pick you by discernment or I pick you by revelation. I must catch you by one. That's my own. Whether you are pastor or deacon, deaconess member. Oh God, show me your television. Oh my God. Now that one, I better pass. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Because scripture says, when the sons of men gathered, even Satan came to fellowship. 
Oh, you don't know. They came to fellowship. So you need all round revelation. It's not only like this is the way. God can also reveal to you who to marry. Who not to marry. Let me share one testimony. There was a brother. He proposed to a sister in choir. So after he proposed to the, the, the brother was firebrand. Say with me, firebrand. So after he has proposed, pastor has blessed. Pastor, don't bless anyhow. <laughs> Tell them go and come back. Make you two pray. You know, some sisters no one hear that one. Pastor, pray. We don't agree. <laughs> so, <laughs> So the young man, when he started praying, the Holy Ghost told him, if you go ahead with that marriage, you will die. He didn't tell the girl. They have done first introduction. If you go ahead of that marriage, you will die. They did traditional marriage. On the day of the wedding, on the day of the wedding, the Holy Ghost said, you dare step out now. You are in trouble. The sisters already come to church. They've already used Jeep, brought her. <laughs> they brought her to church. So, choir has been blasting. <laughs> we are firing, firing, firing. You know, pastor was inside waiting for the young man to arrive now before they say, move to the next program. Young man, no show. So, they waited and waited. They wanted to exhaust, the pastors, they wanted to exhaust their patience. You know, they say, wait, a pastor can exhaust his patience for you. They waited, nothing happened. So, the young girl entered the car. And went to the, the she knew where the young man did. The young man was inside the toilet. Le kuka ka 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 ka. Hear me and hear me where. Reserve your energy for better things. If God speak to me, I blast you one hand. I need a waste time. What are you delaying? It was in the toilet. Oh. The girl now came and said, Now you're going to save you today. She said so. Now you're going to save you today. She said so. She didn't hurt him. Now you're going to save you today. She will have married the PA to the Queen of the Coast. <laughs> Are you understanding what I'm saying? <laughs> Say with me, fire. <laughs> so we need revelation. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? You need revelation. Now you're going to save you today. <laughs> if God has not revealed it, what will have happened? Tell me the truth. No one that scripture says, and thou shalt break forth out of obscurity. So fasting guarantees light. Hear me? Any area of your life that needs light, if you are fasting with the whole of your heart, God will say something. I know it. He will say something. He will be impressing it on your heart. Telling you. He will be marching you. 
That is, the thoughts will go, come back again. The thoughts will go. The reason why it's going and coming is so that you hear it where? Once have the Lord spoken, twice have I heard. Spirit, the warrior. <laughs> Hear this now. Your spirit man is God's investment. God's investment. And if he does not want that investment to be damaged by the devil, he will be showing you directions. Giving you revelation. You know God has invested in you. God has invested in you. Your spirit man is his investment. It's not your father's investment. It's not your mother's investment. And that's why from time to time, he will be speaking to you. He will be showing things to you because I have a stake in you. God has a stake in your life. God has a stake in your life. You are not your own. You are his own. That's why to remain carnal is a serious danger to his investment. He can't reach you. Neither can he communicate secrets to you. The secret things belong to the Lord, but the things revealed unto us, they are for our children, children. God must reveal it to you. I say he will reveal it to you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. So until you secure divine secrets, you are disconnected from his plans. It is the secret he reveals that unfolds the plans that is set to come to pass. So your fasting and prayer is a necessary condition to build you up for the secrets that will be revealed. It builds us up. Fasting builds us up. It increases our intimacy. It increases our fellowship. Even naturally, only people that fellowship with you, you can show some things. Some things you say them in parable. Others you code the things you are saying. But there are people you show things. See? See this thing? Do it like this. I'm doing this. Jesus had 12 disciples. Not all of them had access to secrets. That's why we never heard of Bartholomew. Andrew ended up as usher. But Peter, James, and John, they had access to secrets. Did you hear of Luke? Luke was a documenter. He was documenting the things that were taking place. It was not in the class of manifestation. Uh, when we got to Kadako, I was there when he was laying hands on people. I saw the way. <laughs> no wonder after Jesus ascended, Peter, James, and John. Why? They were always the one that was always interested in prayer. So they too, they had access to secrets. So even if we have declared 21 days now, it's not everybody that is interested. Some people, they are only, let me just come for Wednesday and come for Sunday. Did you do the 21 days? I was there on Wednesday now. I was there on Sunday. Should I say something? Your life is your own. 
If you agree to cooperate with God, it will be better. If you refuse not to cooperate with God, you remain on the same spot. Let me say this again before we rise up to pray. There are too many confusing things that looks too real. That's why you need revelation. There are too many traps of the devil. Too many deceptions around. That's why you need revelation. Revelation exposes. It unfolds. It opens up the confusion. You need insight, you need revelation. You need inspiration about your environment, what you want to do, the people around you, where not to go, where to go. So many fake, so many infiltrations, so many pollution. So if God does not speak to you, you will be trapped. Because the fake even look more like the original. Fake look like the original. I won't forget one encounter. It was a Wednesday fasting. <laughs> I was praying in the office. I just fell into a trance. You know what a trance is? It's like you are sleeping, but you are not sleeping. I just fell into a trance. I saw a deacon very close to me. The devil is using against me. Immediately, I just got up from that trance. I opened the door. I said, send for this deacon now. Ma, no need to wait. Say, Lord, drive him away. I want to. I said, send for him now. I said, if I see you around me again. If I see you around me again. Devil. He said, what do I do? I said, the Holy Ghost just showed me your television now. <laughs> I began to open up all the things he has been doing. If you are dear to God, no evil man survives around you. Yeah. Write it down, I said so. If you are dear to God, no evil man survives around you. It will take you time, you will, it will be revealed. No matter how they try to protect and cover it, they will be exposed. No question of time. So there is need for you to ask God the right path. Lord, show me the right path. Show me the right business. Show me the right place. Show me the right people. There are people connected to my new dawn. There are people connected to your new dawn. When he begins to show them to you, it's making your journey easy. Your life easy. You will not struggle this year. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So by so doing, the things that will make new dawn a reality for you is already in your hand. Don't struggle. Well, I just finished prayer this morning. I was brushing teeth. The Holy Ghost was showing me, do this one, do this one, do this one. You see this result. Do this one. I just busted into laughter. I said, waiting to happen again. You don't start. <laughs> you don't start. Hear me and hear me well. The things that will make you this year, God will show them to you. The things that will increase your progress, God will show them to you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. To regain your dominion in life, 
Fasting and prayer will enhance your spirituality to make your dominion a reality. Our natural ears are not designed to hear secrets. But our spiritual ears. Our natural ears are not designed to hear secrets from God. But our spiritual ears. So for your fasting to deliver insight, revelation, then the implication is that there is a condition. They gave themselves unto the word. And to what? So you must give yourself to the word and to prayer. Some people only give themselves to prayer. If they fast, they pray. No word. Are you hear what I'm saying now? You know, get power. That's why people that fast and only pray, they are still powerless. That's why after they are finished praying, say, Pastor, I fasted, but something is pressing me. Why wouldn't they press you? They will press you where? Do you know why they are pressing you? There is no word injection. The entrance of his word giveth light. The spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. So when you are in fasting, the word must enter. The word that is entering is what is enhancing your God nature. Your God status. And your God status is what enhances your spiritual command. No word. And you know, Satan is a good strategist. He will keep you busy in the fast so that you will not touch the word. That's why in the fast, you will just be busy doing plenty of things. No word. No word. You can't even read Psalm 1. No matter how short Psalm 1 is, Satan will keep you busy. You won't read it. No message. Maybe you go to buy one message now and be listening. You know, get that time. I'm very busy. May you not miss the word you need this year. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. So you must spend time in the word. So as to enhance your spirit, man. Because who speaks to you determines who you hear. It's true. Jesus said, take heed to what you hear. If it's wrong voices you are hearing, you will be, the thing will be re-echoing. Because that's what you'll be hearing. So every time we're in fasting, <laughs> my son, pay attention to my word. Incline thy ears unto my saying. For they are life unto thee and health unto thy whole flesh. My son, pay attention. So I want to give you direction. My son, pay attention. I want to give you revelation. My son, pay attention. What you pay attention to determines the revelation you get. You can't be getting revelation in something that you are not paying attention to. So until God catches your attention, until God gets your attention, you never catch revelation. And seeking his face must be your desire. For the Lord shall speak peace unto his people. For the Lord shall speak peace unto his people. You will not miss his voice this year. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. Rise up to your feet. We're going to pray now. Revelation, when seeking God, also bring about solution. Lord, which is the way out of this problem? Which is the way out of this challenge? Which is the way out of this marital disappointment? Which is the way out of this business? Rise today, crawl tomorrow. Rise today, crawl tomorrow. 
Lord, which is the way out? Show me the way out. David prayed a prayer. Open thou my eyes, O Lord, that I will behold wondrous things out of thy law. I will stand upon my watch to see what he shall say unto me when I am reproved. Shall I shock you? Part of the revelation God will show you this year is to rebuke you. I'm telling you. He can be showing you this, this is the, the reason why I've not been working wonders in your life. Change from this attitude. Come out from this thing you are doing so that things will turn around. You know, when the Holy Ghost speaks, he speaks like a bang. Be hitting you. Bah, bah, bah. Even if you pretend as if you are not hearing there's what they call the inner voice, the conscience. The thing will be hammering you inside, inside, until you submit. Lord, show me. Open my eyes to see. Every correction that I need, anything that I need to stop doing, hear me? There is what you need to stop doing, and there is what you need to start doing. Yes. There is what you need to stop doing and there is what you need to start doing. If not, new dawn is not a reality. Say, think not of the former. For behold, I will do a new thing. For that new thing to manifest, you must not do what will hinder it. We are going to pray, Lord. Whatever I need to know, Holy Ghost, you are the revealer. Show me. Open my eyes to see. If you need to correct me, correct me. If you need to rebuke me, rebuke me. But Lord, show me. Open my eyes to see. The things that will move my life forward. Lord, show me. Deliver me from every trap. Deliver me from every confusion. Deliver me from every trap. Deliver me from every confusion. Lord, show me. The things you need to show me that will bail me out. Lord, show me. We have been missing it. The wrong steps that have been taken. Lord, deliver me. Pray sincerely from the depth of your heart. This year you must gain speed. This year you must make progress. Your life will go forward. You will not fall into any wrong relationship this year. And cry again this year. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Lord, show me. Leandeko. Lord, every chaff blocking my ears, my spiritual ears from hearing you, from hearing you, Lord, burn every chaff, burn every chaff in the name of Jesus, burn every chaff in the name of Jesus, burn every chaff. Born every chaff in the name of Jesus. Leande usa toke kebredi ya le katore denesu zelikata jekuseze ikateri yando le pore di agada le grusha kote ne di agaga. Born every chaff, Spirit of God. Born every chaff. Lord, I want to hear you. I want to know you. I want to see your ways, Lord. Show me the things that I need to see, the things that I need to know, the things that I need to do that will make new dawn a reality. Holy Ghost, you are the revealer. You are the shower. You are the illuminator. Any power, whatever has blindfolded my eyes. You say you will remove the veil and the covering cast. And the veil that is spread over all people and that is spread over all nations by your fire born of every veil swallow every chaff lift up your voice and pray your life must go forward your family must go forward your career must go forward pray from the depths of your heart lord reveal to me i must not be trapped in gilga I must not be trapped in better. There is a place more glorious. There is a place more glorious. Lamborodos, Shikateni, Angarados. 
Legada, legodo, se kote prediga lo shata. Zeyande ke deroto, ikato ze tute, jenodre di le kuzi zili aleta, emperedo o zanateta. Born every chaff, born every chaff, whatever has stagnated me, spiritually, mentally, lift up your voice and pray, whatever has stagnated me, spiritually, mentally, physically, spirit of God, born every chaff. Lord, let the chaff be burnt off. Leadorosh, je kote predigaras. Le ante kare di zozu zezes. Le kote prediga lo shagadaga. La po le predi zozo naga gaga gaga yaga daga da. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jacob got to a point where he was tired of his frustration. Yet he was among the persons that the blessing came upon. The blessing came upon him in Genesis 27. He said, I have blessed him and indeed he shall be blessed. But he walked his life into frustration. The scripture says, and Jacob was left alone. In fasting you are left alone. And that day he cried, I will not let thee go. Except you bless me. Where you abandon me, pick me up back. We are going to lift up our voice. Lord, I will not let thee go. Move my life forward. I will not let this go. Move my life forward. Move my life forward. I will not let thee go. Lift up your voice and pray. Paul said, and I went up by revelation. Lord, I will not let thee go. I lay demand on your hand. I place a demand on your hand. Show me. Open my eyes to see. Likatoria de Shunatares. Mbebe elushi kotanda. Resonia ketaleta. Lepote riso zakatola. Lekatandi ilo shekoteros. I will not let thee go. I will not let thee go. Le karoto suta lari andegadesha. Lord, show me. Show me. Show me. The things that will move my life forward. That will move my family forward. That will move this church forward. That will move my business forward. That will move my children forward. That will move my wife forward. That will move my brothers and sisters forward. Lord, show me. I place a demand on your hand. You are the illuminator. You are the revealer of the deep things of the spirit. Lord, reveal to me. I place a demand on your hand. Show me. Show me the steps to take. The button to press. We are to go. Who to walk with? Who not to walk with? Who to avoid? Lord, show me. Langadare Susanateta. Ilamo Shekutari and the Clareta. You are the revealer. Lord, do not leave me. Do not leave me behind this year. I am going with you. I am going with you. Lord, move my life forward this year. Move my life forward this year. Show me the steps to take. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody wants to rededicate his life back to God. 
You were once in touch with God. But suddenly, you too, you know you have missed it. You want to rededicate your life back to God. You want to say, Jesus, come into my heart. God can't show you if you are not his own. He can't reveal to you. You can't reveal your secret to a stranger. You can't reveal your secret to someone that doesn't want to walk in your way. You want to make it right with Jesus. You want to rededicate your life back to God. Put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, come forward right now. I want to pray with you. Put your hands together for Jesus. If you are coming, come with me. God bless you.